Wyoming Bigfoot in Yellowstone? No, it is not. It's Montana Bigfoot in Yellowstone National well, Park. Well, I, 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 I do correct myself, but Wyoming and Montana are both in Yellowstone. Yes, yes, they're both both very similar, both in in uh, in the same general area. Yellowstone straddles Yellowstone actually straddles three different states. Now here you see is the Montana Bigfoot actually turning around to look at the camera. We're gonna have that at footage. the camera. We're gonna have that footage in the next shot. This is kind of a teaser, but I'm telling you, we got a lot of footage on this. And we're the and only they, ones bringing this to us. You were saying that one of these trackers is a used to work for National Geographic. No, I was saying that there is a documentary on the, some of the trackers that that uh, work for National Geographic. One guy was had a flesh eating disease. I'm not sure exactly what it was. It's not. We were relating this to the public in a story in Texas where somebody was scratched his finger. On a uh, and died on a fishing trip and ended up dying because he had a flesh eating disease. I mean, it starts out you seeing your flesh melt in front of your eyes, which is horrifying. We're saying you think that you can just go on one of these trips, these the, these tracking trips, get a footage of Bigfoot. You have no concept of what people that do this for a living are in for. They obviously do know what they're doing because they're not having these problems and they're taking safety into their own hands. Well, they've incorporated this into the into their train of thought and their psyche and their psychology, I know that there's a potential for getting a, a mountain lion's, you know, vice grip on my throat because there are well, mountain lions shredding you like a piece of paper. I know that there are packs of wolf that can surround me and bite me to shreds. In particular, the wolves have regained ground in Yellowstone National Park. Because they're reintroducing the area, they're saying, "Oh, they're not enough white." They're not. They're not looking at it like, "Oh, you know, well, you know, human beings are important." They're saying nature, in and of itself, is important. And it looks like they've reintroduced Bigfoot into the area. Well, Bigfoot is certainly there. I mean, maybe they don't talk about it like Bigfoot's of prime importance, you know. And some people don't even believe that the creatures are there. I think that as they're seeing these photos, seeing is believing. Exactly. See for yourself.